In America, everyone counts, and the 2020 census is how that great promise is kept. Respond today online, by phone, or by mail, and help inform hundreds of billions in funding for education, health programs, and more. Shape your future. Start at 2020census.gov. I, I don't even understand this next story. A vice principal called the police on a seventh grade black boy for playing with a toy gun doing a virtual art class. Y'all, he was at home. The art teacher notified the vice principal that Isaiah Elliott was distracted and playing with the gun. It was a toy gun. This is it right here. It's green with an orange tip. Y'all, he was suspended for five days. He also now has a record with the El Paso County Sheriff's Office and a mark on his school disciplinary paperwork. Put the photo of him up, please. It says he brought a fast amount of a firearm to school. When Isaiah's father viewed the tape of his son's class, it only showed him sitting on the couch, moving the toy gun from one side to the other. He was not waving it, as a teacher alleged. Isaiah is the same age as Tamir Rice, the 12-year-old boy who was shot and killed in 2014 by Cleveland police for playing with a BB gun. This is how stupid some of these people are, Reese. The, uh, unbelievable. And then again, remember when John Crawford III, they, 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 call, they call the cops, say, oh, he was waving a gun in the store. Video show he wasn't even doing that here. Teacher lied. They got video of actually what happened. This isn't stupidity, though. This is insidious, um, racist behavior to, you know, penalize a young black kid because perhaps he wasn't showing appropriate attention that the art teacher preferred at that time. So to sit up there and flat out lie and uh, alert the vice president and, and, and then turn around and have, sorry, the vice principal, and then turn around to have the cops show up at the house of a black family with the notion that there is a gun in the presence, that is incredibly dangerous and sinister. So I will not um, uh, excuse it as stupid behavior. This is very sinister, insidious stuff. And um, they need to apologize. They need to sue the system. They need to remove this from his record because this is just targeting and furthering the trauma of young black kids and the criminalization of black kids. And it's unacceptable. Uh, Greg? Yeah, um, I'm encouraged as usual, because I believe that these contradictions are going to have to eventually come down to a, a straight up fight. Um, I hope they get a lawyer. I, I actually went and looked at uh, the uh, student expen uh, suspension expulsion denial of admission, admissions process for the Colorado Springs uh, District 11. And they say that you can be suspended from school property for behavior like this. And they define school property here. If I look at it again, they define school property as, as using this policy, is any school building, school grounds, district property, and the last part it says, or any school and any school or district sponsored activity, regardless of where the activity occurs. What I would do is uh, turn on my laptop, and the minute they don't let me have access to the school, well, actually they pull him out. I guess the the, the parents have decided to disenroll him from there. But I would test the definition of school property by saying, I'm in my house. So you're going to suspend me from my house if I turn on the laptop? I would have all their money, brother. Uh, I would get a lawyer, and I would force them in this age of this plague that's going on to test the definition of school property and suspension from school property when you're talking about a crisis-related emergency remote learning situation where this laptop is at my house. I think there's, there's a case to be pursued in the courts, and I'd love to see how the judges would decide on this one. brother. Erica. It's deliberate. Having raised a young black male, I can say very confidently that the number of times that I actually had to go to the school outnumbered some of the times that I should have just been there to do observations or to be a part of different organizations. And this is particularly true with black children. There, This is deliberate. Um, I agree with Reese with talking about the insidious nature of it. And then when you consider the step further that the school took, and actually um, making sure that he now has a record with the sheriff's department. One of the things that I'm thinking about is that, you know, whatever tools that this family uh, uses in order to hope to render a, de a reverse decision, that now the sheriff's department has awareness of a young black child, 12 years old, and they have its address. So 
If they're going to be in the same neighborhood, if they're going to be in the same area, it concerns me that they had this information about a disruptive child, a child that was, um, you know, to kind of like frame it in their words that, you know, had a gun when that was just not the case. It was blown out of proportion. So um, I would say and hope that the parents are definitely going to fight it, particularly concerning as it looks with um, the way that his name is now being entered into um, this judicial system at the young age of 12 years old. And even when you brought forward to Mayor Rice, you know, he should have been a part of this graduating class this year. So I'm really hoping that, you know, these are kind of instances that we're used to seeing, hearing and talking about that the family will get some um, really good resolve around this. Just one moment. All right, folks, Seek.com is a black-owned company uh, founded by Mary Spiel. They have a couple of great products for you. First of all, they see these are amazing uh, headphones right here. Uh, these particular headphones uh, are Bluetooth, uh, tremendous bass, 360-degree headphones, 4D. Uh, you can use this for gaming if you're playing video games. Also, of course, listen to music, videos, you name it. Uh, and so, and Greg, yeah, they're great because they're in our colors, black and old gold. So that's kind of important. Uh, then, of course, they have that virtual reality headset here, which allows for you to pop your... Uh, Video, cell phone right into here. You can watch the uh, content, the virtual reality content right there on seek.com. You think you're sitting in the uh, in the room. Guys, put the graphic up, please. You think you're sitting in the room. Uh, and so, again, what you should do is be able to um, use the, uh, you can, like I say, watch the content. Or if you have a 360-degree camera, I have a 360-degree GoPro, uh, you're able to watch that video as well uh, with this particular VR headset and places you right there where it was. All right. To, do, to get it, you simply use the promo code RMVIP2020, RMVIP2020. Go to seek.com, C-E-E-K.com. And so we certainly appreciate them being uh, a partner here with Roland Martin Unfiltered.